today I've come along to White Archers to have a look at the Bailey Adamo and find out a little bit more about what's new for it in 2024. So this is the Bailey Adamo 754i, which is the island bed, rear view camera on the back, really nice design, very spacious motorhome, bike rack provisions, and then down this side you've got your gas locker, your vent for your Truma, and access to the garage. And this is 75,499 at White Archers. It's on the three and a half ton, automatic. Well, I'm now inside the Bailey Adamo 75,4i. This is the island bed arrangement um, on the Adamo um, with a front lounge. It does have a central washroom. So I'll give you a little look around this one. Um, because it's quite interesting, just been having a chat with the um, salesman here, that these now can um, take up to two tonnes um, with a towing limit, but you just have to have a specialised tow bar fitted. And another little fact we've just learned is that the first um, series of Adamos didn't have the prep for aircon, but the new models coming through now do, so you can have the air conditioning units fitted. And really good to know on both counts. So looking to the front of the motorhome, you get this very spacious and airy um, lounge area um, with the two captain's chairs that swivel round that do have the Bailey logo in them. As you know, this is based on the Ford, it's on the Transit, and quite a few of them come with the automatic box. You do get a nice spacious kitchen um, with a fold-out flap, and of course the Adamo's um, adjustable rotating height adjustable um, table and it does come with the tall um, Thetford fridge and freezer compartment. Very nice with the skylights and the front lounge area there. So this is the kitchen with the hob under these lovely boards with the electric ring as well as the three gas, double oven grill. No microwave in these, but you can have them fitted. And then you get these lovely, big, spacious lockers on the um, baileys and the provisions for your aerial. So the TV is mounted high up here. That's so you can turn it and point it towards the bedroom as well as the lounge. And that's another view of the Thetford fridge and kitchen. Standard bailey control panel light switches. So this comes prepped with the um, screens for the night time. Like I say, automatic box, the lovely Ford cab that's very car-like, and the two captain's chairs, and provisions for rear view camera. And then as you turn around to the back, this model has the rear island bed with the two wardrobes and lovely headboard. This is in the nighttime position, but this does fold back for daytime. The spacious wardrobes at the back, as well as two windows to give you a good view out from the bed. And this is on a sliding door to separate the washroom from the main living area if you're in the bedroom. Very nice. And there are provisions for a TV as well. And then across the centre of the motorhome you get the shower and the um, washroom just here. And a nice skylight light above. Plenty of storage underneath as well as the garage at the back. And some little storage units each side. This is on the Truma 
blown air system. You've got a lot of space to move around here. So what do we think of that little look around the Bailey Adamo? Well, there are a number of key facts really um, that attracted to this um, motor home. When we first looked at it um, at the NEC over two and a half years ago, and that was that it's got some nice flexible layouts. Now, all the models, including that 75.4i that I've just shown you, come with the four travel seats. They come with the 100 watt solar panel. They're all a compact length, as in it's 7.48 metres, which is manageable, and they're all based on that Ford cab with the automatic. Um, they offer the um, Truma Combi heating, um, and they've got a good storage locker for two gas bottles on, on that outside. Now, that does take a bit of cupboard space from in your kitchen, but you do gain the garage space at the back and other storage space within the vehicle, and particularly those big lockers that I was showing you. And it is an all-season motorhome by the build that Bailey have um, used for them. Um, and it always feels very space, spacious and, and light and airy, um, a bit like the Autograph that we used to own. I think the wider body, um, that the height within the vehicle um, makes it feel nice and spacious. Um, that 75 i that I looked in doesn't have a drop-down bed at the front, but it does have the um, lounge that can be converted into a bed as well as the travel seats. And what is nice is that island bed at the back. Um, and when it's in the day position, you've got more than enough space around it. So I have learned some key information today by speaking to White Archers and their um, salesman. So for these 2024 models, he assures me that the pre-wiring and the capability for mounting of um, an air conditioning unit is now available. And with a specialist converter for a tow bar, um, they use, I think he said, UK um, tow bars um, for fitting of theirs with some special adaptive um, skeleton of a, a, an arrangement underneath, if you like. Um, it can tow up to two tonnes. Now, previously, we were always under the um, expectation that if we wanted an Adamo, um, we would have to have um, no tow car. And that's what put us off going for it because we absolutely loved it. So it was really worth having a nice look back in the vehicle today and knowing that you can now do that. The only downside is you're going to be paying about £1,500 for that tow bar conversion on the um, transit chassis, on the skeletal chassis that it has, um, compared to say six, seven, eight hundred pounds for either a dealer fit or a, an aftermarket um, tow bar on the Adamo. So if you go that route, you're not going to be able to have the capacity. You need the specific one um, installed but it is now doable. Good to know. So I've got some key facts for you about the, the vehicle, um, both with the cab and the, the habitation side. So as you've seen from the video, it is on the Ford, it's on the Transit, it's on the Ford chassis, and it comes with the two litre, and it's the 160 brake horsepower engine mated to the automatic gearbox. And when you've seen the front of that, the, the cab is very car-like. Um, you, you think you're in like a Ford Cougar or, or one of the Ford um, Explorer vehicles. So it's quite, quite nice. And you've got the fully adjustable captain seats at the front for, for height and reach and, and turning round into um, the um, habitation side itself. And it comes, like I've said, with the two Agouti travel seats, one on each side that sit under those lounge seats. And when you're not using, there is a little bit of storage under there, but not much. It comes with that TV bracket that I showed you in the clip um, that slides out from the top and you can also flip round if you want to, to view it in the bedroom. But there is that TV connectivity in the corner of the bedroom should you want to get a bracket put up. Um, it's got a very nice entrance door, standard width entrance door, but you've got the lovely soft furnishings throughout. You've got the lovely um, kitchen with its worktops, and I particularly like the worktop cover over the um, cooktop. Um, and as I've shown you in the video there, you get the three gas rings and you get the electric plate, as well as the grill and oven, um, double oven combination. Um, so fantastic setup in that kitchen. No microwave. From our own experience, I think we could live without a microwave, um, but I am told you still can have it as an option, but you would lose some of that storage space above the kitchen itself. Um, 
the way it's set up with that um, central bathroom arrangement, washroom, you get the shower on one side, small amount of intrusion. If I think about our current motorhome, we've got a little bit from the wheel arch, um, but you do get a good size shower to one side, and then you get the, the, the washroom kind of cupboard to the other. You can close it off to the living area, or you can use the sliding doors um, to um, close off the bedroom area if anybody's staying in the, the living side of the habitation. Um, and the Hartle door has got its blind and the waste bin and a place to, to put your umbrella as you've seen um, on the video clip itself. So it's a really well appointed van. Um, we like the fact it's got the tall fridge, it's got the tall, I think 140 litre Thetford fridge with a good size um, freezer box in the top of there with a little bit of storage um, above and below as well. Um, so all in all, it's quite a well kitted vehicle. Um, standard Bailey um, control panel, which we've had in the past with our autograph. So um, a very logical system to use for filling your water and managing your electrics. Um, and then you've got the good garage space at the back um, for, for storing all your, your bits and pieces. So still remains quite a nice vehicle. It was quite refreshing to get back inside one of those um, and have a look. Um, and the one we've seen today is up at just under 76,000 pounds. You'd need the £1,500 on top of that if you did want the, the, the tow car ability on the back. Um, still a good price, still a good spec, um, still a good fit and finish. Um, really liked it. So if you like this video, please let us know. Please let us know what you think of the Bailey Adamos. Um, really keen to know. And if you'd like us to do a few more of these, um, from time to time we are at the dealers. We like a little mooch around. Um, so. Let us know, is there a particular vehicle you'd like us to go and see? We've got a few dealers nearby. Um, I might do a few more of these if, if it proves popular. So give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Um, more and more of you are doing so with the channel and that is really appreciated, so thank you. Um, and I'll see you next time.